Hey, what's up? It's your tech bro Charlie here and welcome back to where we take awesome out of the box. Now what happens if you get one of the top fan favorite smartphones from last year and make it even better? Today we're gonna find out because we're taking a look at the Poco X3 Pro. Last year's Poco X3 NFC was one of the best value for money phones you could buy, but it looks like we're getting an even better deal than last year's Bang for the Buck Champion. The Poco X3 Pro is one of the most affordable phones you can get nowadays with a flagship grade Snapdragon 860 processor. And despite a few compromises in the camera department, it's easily one of the best phones you can buy in the Philippines right now. The phone comes in a simple black box with the Poco X3 Pro branding in yellow. Inside the box, you get the welcome card, POCO stickers, a silicon case, documentation which you should never throw away, SIM ejector tool, 33 watt wall charger, and USB-C cable. Now let's take a look at the phone. If you put the X3 NFC and the X3 Pro side by side, you can barely tell the difference. Both phones share the same design all throughout, parehong pareho sila. That includes a heavy, chunky build, a circular camera setup housing four cameras, and a dual tone finish with the bold Poco branding in the middle. The X3 Pro has a polycarbonate back panel and is a little more smudge resistant than last year's offering, though I'd still use the case to protect the huge camera bump. The port and button layout remain the same as last year's model. SIM card tray on the left side, power and volume buttons on the right, IR blaster and speaker on top, and headphone jack, USB-C port, and the other speaker at the bottom. So we have stereo speakers, but we're going to be talking about that later. Like the vanilla model, the X3 Pro gets a 6.67-inch IPS display that has full HD plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, 240Hz touch response rate, and a punch hole for the 20-megapixel selfie camera. Protect it because we have Gorilla Glass 6 here as well. But quality-wise, it's the same as last year's model. Overall, picture quality is decent for an IPS panel, though it does struggle a bit when used outdoors. And like the earlier model, the X3 Pro's 120Hz refresh rate adjusts automatically based on the apps being used to preserve battery life. Plus, to solidify its place as a good media consumption device, we have stereo speakers, which don't sound bad but aren't necessarily the best. Here's a quick sample. What makes you different, girl? It seems like everything is the same for me. You build me up and then you keep me around just for company. I'm nothing but a big thing nowadays You'll just get tired of me anyway But I'm scared that I will be fate So just in case I have to say I don't wanna make the same mistakes I'm gonna push you Saturate until I let you in I'm gonna push you Why should I even talk to you? Next up, the X3 Pro gets a slight downgrade in the camera department as it gets a lower resolution 48 megapixel main camera and 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. But it's not bad either as the main camera is an IMX582, which is a tried and tested camera. While the ultra wide angle camera is basically the same module Xiaomi often uses in most of its budget to mid range phones. In general, the photos are good and Poco is getting color balance consistent between the main and ultra wide angle cameras. Though the latter does suffer a loss in detail and low light, but that can be fixed by enabling night mode. And that's a plus for the X3 Pro because the X3 NFC only had night mode in the main camera, not the ultra wide angle one. As for selfies, the 20 megapixel snapper does a great job and I was pretty happy with the photos. As for video, the X3 Pro can shoot 4K30, though it is better than the earlier model because it offers full HD 60fps and has decent stabilization when shooting handheld. The biggest upgrade though is the internals as you're getting a flagship grade Snapdragon 860 processor with 8GB RAM and 256GB UFS 3.1 storage. 
the processor and storage tech alone make it a big, big upgrade over the X3 NFC. The Snapdragon 860 is essentially a refined version of the Snapdragon 855 Plus from 2019. And kahit walang 5G connectivity, it's very hard to find a phone with a flagship-grade processor for under 13,000 pesos. And looking at the benchmark figures, the Snapdragon 860 is just behind the Snapdragon 870. In case you guys didn't know, that's the processor found on the more premium Poco F3. And the Snapdragon 860 offers a vastly better overall performance compared to the Snapdragon 732G used on the X3 NFC. When it comes to games, there's no question that the X3 Pro can handle most AAA mobile games at the highest possible graphics settings. Based on data obtained using GameBench, the X3 Pro can closely match the performance of the more expensive F3 in games like Asphalt 9, PUBG Mobile, and Call of Duty Mobile, while it trails behind with Genshin Impact. However, like we encountered with the Poco F3, the X3 Pro tends to heat up quickly after several minutes of gameplay using the highest possible graphics settings. So to remedy that, you might want to play in a cooler area, use a phone cooler, or tone down the graphics. As for battery life, the X3 Pro is a bit on the underwhelming side. We clocked in at around 10 hours in 120Hz mode and a little over 12 hours in 60Hz mode. That actually makes it less efficient than the X3 NFC in our tests, but we guess that Poco can roll out an update to optimize the overall performance of the X3 Pro. And topping up the large 5160mAh battery is a fast 33W charger, and we managed to charge it from flat to 100% in a little over an hour. So there you have it. Poco definitely strikes again. It's really hard to question the X3 Pro's raw processor performance at under 13,000 pesos. And despite looking very similar to the X3 NFC and having a slightly downgraded rear camera setup, the Snapdragon 860's performance paired with UFS 3.1 storage make it an ideal phone for serious gaming. The X3 Pro's thermals may not be ideal for long gameplay sessions, especially on the highest graphics settings, but there were the remedies I mentioned earlier. You can grab one for 15,990 pesos for the 8GB 256 gb storage model and 12,990 pesos for the 6GB 128GB storage model, and both variants will be available exclusively on Shopee. You guys can check out more reviews on Unbox.ph. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yup, subscribe because when you hit 250k subs, we're giving away a smartphone. So don't forget to hashtag sub to unbox. Hit the notification icon if you want to get them updates when we drop videos. Once again, it's your tech bro Cholo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.